there is no way that I could make a Western and not be influenced by the classics. Blood Country, my first Western and not my last if I'm around long enough to make more, is inspired by the work of great directors such as John Ford and Howard Hawks who mastered the genre. And if you're watching Blood Country closely, you'll actually catch some direct references to some of the westerns I love most. In one scene, we pay homage to the classic moment with Henry Fonda in My Darling Clementine. In another scene, one of our characters actually says one of John Wayne's classic lines in The Searchers. So we'll find him in the end, I promise you. We'll find him. Just as sure as the turn of the earth. Stay around here. I'll get you, Joe. Sure is the turning of the earth. In many of those John Ford pictures, you'll hear the same hymn over and over again. One called, Shall We Gather at the River? Or sometimes just called, At the River. Gather with the saints at the river that flows by the throne of God. It's actually in lots of Western movies, including The Wild Bunch and Jeremiah Johnson, and I insisted that we include it in our film as well. At the river. The inspiration behind Joe Lofton's wardrobe in the film actually came from Dean Martin's character in Rio Bravo. I suggested to Chris Bosarge, the actor playing Joe, that we have him sometimes be shirtless with a coat and he be very dirty. And this was our little nod to the character Martin created, which has become iconic. While filming the jail scenes for our movie, I couldn't help but keep thinking of Rio Bravo. The way those scenes were staged and set, the way the characters looked and acted. I think our film shares some DNA with that one, especially because John Wayne and Walter Brennan are holding a prisoner from the outside world who are trying to come in and get him. Just like Sheriff Dan Lee, played by Cotton Yancey, and Webb Langston, played by Jeremy London, are doing in our film. I'm sure there are so many more that I'm not even conscious of. Because like I said, in my opinion, it is impossible to make a Western and not be influenced by these great films.